Yo, have you seen this blank t-shirt right here before? Let's talk about it. What's happening everybody? Boy Big Brando and today we're going to be talking about smart blanks. Now I guess this is kind of like a review, maybe not. I just wanted to show you guys my process when I'm looking for new blanks. I seen smart blanks booth at the Impressions Expo earlier this year in Long Beach. This is my first time checking them out so I ordered some samples and I wanted to check it out. And I just want to take you guys through the process because when I seen the blanks at the show, I touched them, I felt them, I liked the way they looked. I was curious about how they felt when you're wearing them. I wanted to know what the fit was like. I wanted to know how they wash. So I picked up my blanks. They're located in Anaheim, California. As most of you guys know, I'm from Southern Los Angeles, South Bay Harbor area. Orange County or Anaheim is about 20, 25 minutes from myself. When I found out they were local to Southern California, that made me really want to check them out. So I ordered their heavyweight t-shirts just to see what they felt like. I ordered a few different sizes, 2X, extra large, and large, and I ordered them in black and white. They didn't have a ton of color offerings, but I usually stick to black and white anyways. Sometimes Heather Gray, sometimes Navy. So the color offerings didn't really bother me. But now let's talk about the actual t-shirt. The cotton feels good. I like the collar. I like the way it feels. It's a tubular shirt. There's no side seam, but I do have an issue with the sizing. So what I'm gonna do is turn the camera down, show you guys on this table and show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, check it out. Hopefully you could see this. We have extra large smart blank. This is their heavyweight t-shirt. On the tag, it says Smart Blank Reserve. These tags are tearaway. This is an extra large t-shirt. I'm gonna measure armpit to armpit right here. I don't have my ruler, but I do have a tape measure. So I'll try to stretch it out for you, make sure it's nice and flat. 23 inches is what we're measuring. Let me see if I could slide that over for you so you can see it. 23 inches armpit to armpit on the extra large smart blank t-shirt. Now, same exact shirt, smart blank, reserve. This is a size large. Once again, the first shirt, the white one was extra large. This one is a large. Armpit to armpit. Scoot it over for you so you can see that. 23 inches. Armpit to armpit. Making sure this is in the frame. I'm looking at it upside down, so hopefully it's in focus and in frame. 23 inches, armpit to armpit. This is a size large. The first one we did was an extra large. And this one was 23 inches also. So let me stack these up for you. Just so everybody here is aware, I'm not trying to blow smoke up nobody's ass. This is my own experience. Extra large, smart blank, heavyweight t-shirt. This is a large, heavyweight, smart blank t-shirt. The width is exactly the same. Once again, the white t-shirt is extra large. The black t-shirt is size large. I have the black t-shirt over the white t-shirt. Just so you could see, here it is, edge to edge. And on this side, edge to edge. They're both measuring 23 inches across in width. Both of them, size large and extra large. 23 inches across, armpit to armpit on the size large t-shirt and on the extra large t-shirt. The only difference is the length. So my table's not big enough, but I have the size large shirt on top of the extra large shirt. Black shirt is large, white shirt is extra large. There's the tag, shoulder to shoulder, both of them are lined up. I'm gonna move this down, matched up edge to edge. And this is where you can tell the difference. Extra large is down here, large is up here. 
So the extra large t-shirt is just about inch and a half longer. Just about an inch and a half. If you could see that, hopefully it's in frame. So lengthwise, the extra large t-shirt is just an inch and a half longer, but the width is exactly the same from the shoulder all the way down 32 inches on the size extra large t-shirt, 32 inches in length for the size large t-shirt, 30 and a half inches in length. So the only difference between extra large and large is in length, which is about an inch and a half. But the width is exactly the same, 23 inches across. Now, there you have it. The sizing is inconsistent. It's kind of weird. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to use Smart Blanks for my retail business or for my shop only because the sizing is a little off. And when I say a little off, maybe I just got a bad batch. Maybe all larges and extra larges fit and look like this. But personally, I don't think I'm going to be able to use them. I really wanted to use them only because they're in Southern California too. It's always good to have multiple options. This looked and felt like a promising option. Now, this is no shade this is not a shot at smart blanks nothing like that they don't even know i exist as a youtube content creator this is just my personal opinion and this is my experience of ordering blanks through them picking them up from their warehouse busting open the wrapping and comparing all the t-shirts if you use smart blanks and they work for you cool this was my first experience with them and it was a bad experience and it sucks because like i said i really wanted to use them i like the way this shirt feels it has a good generic cut and fit and if the sizing wasn't mislabeled or off the way it is I would have used them, but I wanted to share my experience with you guys just to see because you might have a different experience than I do. But whenever I find a new blank company, that's what I do is I order a few just for myself, just to test out before I actually place a big order for retail sale or for another client of mine. Before I offer this type of blank t-shirt or any type of blank t-shirt, I want to make sure that the sizing is right, that the fit is what I want it to fit like. I know what the feel is like. I want to know how it washes, how it dries, all of that stuff. You've seen the wash test videos on my page already when it comes to like Shaka, AS Color, All Style, all the t-shirts that I use in my shop. I show that stuff. This one right here didn't even make it to the wash test yet because the sizing was off. And like I said, I hope this was just kind of a fluke thing and I just got a bad batch. But imagine that I ordered a ton of these and then I pressed them up and I shipped them off to a customer and the customer is like, man, why do the larges fit like extra larges or why do the extra larges fit like larges? But some of my other extra larges are bigger and who knows? So before you place a big order, whenever you find a new blank company, make sure you order some samples in your size, go size up, go a size down and test them out before you place that big order. I would hate for somebody to place that big order and then waste their money because the sizing was off. It's unfair to you, it's unfair to your clients, unfair to your customers. Do your due diligence by testing out the samples. And when I say samples, I'm not talking about hit them up for free t-shirts. I'm talking about actually buying them, trying them out for yourself. That's what I do. I order the colors that I usually use and offer in my shop. I order them in the sizes that I usually wear. I usually wear extra large and double X, but whenever I'm testing them out, I go a size down, I get my actual size, and then I go a size up. That way I could test them out, wear them, see how they feel, and then go from there. All right, if you have any questions about this, please leave it in the comments for me. If you use Smart Blanks, let me know what your experience is like. Like I said, this could have been a fluke thing. Some of these sizes could have been missized or, or mislabeled. I get it mistakes happen. But as my first experience, I wanted to share my first experience with you guys. But I will say the cotton feels good. The cut feels good. And I really like the collar. The collar to me, it's a little bit thicker, not as thin, and it feels good. I just wish the sizing was a little bit better and more consistent. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Big Brando TV. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Yeah.